Good evening. The latest dead sea turtle is found here at Englewood Beach. Right now it's sea turtle nesting season, so this turtle likely could have been coming toward this area to lay its eggs, but sadly it never survived the journey. Cindy Blaza enjoys this area for its wildlife and scenic views, but on Thursday night she saw something she'll likely never forget. Well, we came down for sunset and we saw a mound out at the water's edge. That mound was a dead loggerhead sea turtle that had washed ashore. It was just very sad. You know, we've seen some dead turtles in the past, but never one this big. The Coastal Wildlife Club says this loggerhead had no apparent injuries, and it's possible it died because of the recent red tide outbreak. In the past week and a half, researchers have seen four dead sea turtles, including two rare Kemp's Ridley turtles. Red tide blooms in the Gulf have led to devastating fish kills in the area recently. Researchers from Moat Marine Lab say these turtles were likely killed from red tide, but samples must be taken for sure. Red tide is a natural phenomenon. It has a toxin called brevitoxin, which is released and it can cause fish kills or, or aquatic life kills. FWC needs help to research this problem. They're asking for more volunteers to collect water samples from areas affected by the toxic algae. Even if red tide is natural, its side effects are still tragic. We'll have more information on FWC's red tide offshore monitoring program on our website, WFLA.com. On Englewood Beach, John Rogers, News Channel 8.